Okay, race five, the Ascot Handicap Stakes, so two mile four furlong, naught to one eighty. So Grey Wizard of Jim Murray is top of the pile. Second is uh, number two is four to ten for Kevin Mean Hand, three to Mina for Obi One, four point of interest for Alex Jerry, five Rum C for Doug Warren, six put one for Carl Arroganti along with Javelin, Frosty Veluga for Darren Howes, Diet for James Follis, Frosty Geronimo for Darren Howes, and Capdor Silver for Doug. Eleven of them. Taking over two miles and four furlongs. Don't fall asleep. They're awake. Watch them go through the first half furlong. They'll be led by Capdor Silver. Put one on his inside. Rum C. Pushing through his Dieppe. The length also back to Javelin, who's taken a little bit of a hold. Against the fence is Grey Wizard. Followed through by the five remaining horses, which are four to ten point of interest. Frosty Geronimo and Frosty Beluga and Tamino. So up front is Dieppe, splitting Rumsey and Capdor Silver, the Warren horses. One behind that is Put Modern, although uh, there's a lot of room there. And a couple of links back to Javelin, further two to Grey Wizard. Through the first half mile. Still being led by James Follis's Dieppe. Rum C on the inside. Long range shot there. Capdor Silver on the outside. Put one in between. Go past the winning post. Here at Ascot. The crowd are miles away. Look at them over there. And more of a crowd there. Lovely grandstand here. On the blacked out windows. Get a shot from them. So they come up the straight. First, from C, Capital Silver, and Port Modern. No change in the order. Pretty much the same as you were. I'm just a little and Charlie is point of interest for Alex Jerry. It's as we were. A mile and a half left to travel. It's Diep from Rum C, Capital Silver, and Port Modern. Coming back to Javelin. The Green Wizard for Jim Murray. Top weight in this race. The outside of the race, Tamino. Is Force 10 in the green silks of Kevin Meenaham. The two Howells horses, the Frosty Geronimo and the Frosty Beluga. And just point of interest at the rear. So one and a quarter left to travel. Furthest away from the stands now. First and last, so anybody could win this. It's still just a mile left to travel. So take a sweeping right turn. Top of the hill. That's the that still leads us from Rum C. Put Modern and Capdor Silver. And Javelin and Grey Wizard together. Give me hands Force 10. The outside of that is Frosty Geronimo. Just being followed through by Frosty Beluga to me though, and point of interest still at the rear. Six furlongs left to go. It's still Rumsey and Dieppe. Moving out on the wide outside now is Tomino for OB1. I want to tuck himself back in as they take this right hand turn to the home straight. I line up for the judge. And it's Dieppe. Off the bridle a little bit now, being pushed along. To maintain his lead, the one that's made a great ground up here is Grey Wizard on the outside. Gets himself in better position. Be three deep as they go around this turn. Force 10 has barged his way up into second as well. And yep, just still hanging on to this from Force 10 and Grey Wizard. Point of interest has come from the back and now got himself blocked in. Rum C and Capdor Silver all going backwards. But up front is still Dieppe hanging on here from Force 10 and Point of Interest. Grey Wizard. They get inside the two and a half. It's Force 10 that leads. Just from a nose from Diet. Point of interest. Grey Wizard making another move again. The yellow silks of Tamino running on well, but it's Force 10 that takes it up inside the furlong and a half. Grey Wizard on his outside. Diet doesn't look like he's got a lot left. Point of interest still plugging on. The yellow silks of Tamino. It's between these, but it's Force 10 inside the furlong now. Leads by a neck from Grey Wizard. Force 10. Grey Wizard the top weight. Here comes Grey Wizard the top weight inside the final half. And it's Grey Wizard just nosing ahead as Force 
Just ain't got anything left. It's Grey Wizard. I think that's just going to hang on to this, and he does. Two mile four furlong. He's got handicap stakes. Goes to Grey Wizard. Jim Murray. Oops, ten a very close second behind. And two top weights. Number two on your card. Point of interest got up for third. A seven to four favourite. A win for Grey Wizard and Jim Murray. Second was false ten for Kevin Minahan. Third was point of interest for Alex Cherry. And fourth was Tamino for Obi-Wan. And fifth was Frosty Valuga for Darren Howes.